Welcome back to Breakfast Television. All week long, we've been meeting various stars of the rodeo, and this morning, we continue with four-time world champion bull rider Sage Kimsey from Oklahoma. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me on. Earlier in the show, we were talking about cowboy superstition, so I've got to ask <laughs> you, do you have any of these superstitions before you ride? I really don't have any superstitions, you know, even it being Friday the 13th and everything. Right? It, uh, I'm not that guy that really has a superstition, you know. I definitely like to get there to the rodeo early and kind of go through my routine. But as far as, you know, something I don't do or anything like that, being nervous about something, I don't I don't really have any superstitions per se. Okay, well, there you go. Do you have a specific routine you like to follow so that everything kind of goes as planned? I do, yeah. I'm pretty picky about, you know, in a sport with so many variables, I try sure. to take out as many of them as I can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty picky about my routine and the way I get ready every time. Okay, all right. Now, you are a very accomplished bull rider. Let's just look at this. You became the youngest millionaire bull rider two years ago at just the age of 22. Is that right? <laughs> I did, yes, ma'am. I've had a pretty fortunate career for sure. Wow. Look at you riding here. We've got the video up. What do you love about this sport? I mean, it's pretty incredible and pretty dangerous. Yeah, it is. I don't know. To me, it's just, it's something that I grew up doing and it's a sport that I love. But to me, it's just kind of, you know, man versus beast in its purest form. And it's like, you know, every time we get on a bull, we're, we're overmatched in every aspect of it. And, you know, to be able to, to ride one and just kind of make poetry in motion for eight seconds, you know, it's, it, it's a pretty special feeling getting off and, you know, being 90 points and, Hearing the crowd go crazy for you, there's nothing that really gets better than that. <laughs> it is pretty amazing, no question. So what are you hoping to do with this year's Calgary Stampede? Um, I've, had, I've had good luck here at Calgary. I've, mm -hmm. I've won it twice and um, you know, hopefully do the same thing again this year because uh, the list of people that have won it three times is, is pretty short for sure. So it put my name in pretty good company. All right, <laughs> that's a good goal. Now we have to talk about injuries because this sport is pretty incredible. Have you had any serious injuries? <laughs> yeah, they say in bull riding it's not if you get hurt, it's just when and how bad. Okay. So uh, <laughs> you name it, if not me, somebody in the locker room's probably had it happen to them. And, um, you know, dislocated shoulders, broken bones, all that good stuff. But it's what we love, so we just keep powering through. Wow. Does that influence how you ride at all? Do you take certain precautions? It does, you know, and the, the safety protocol's gotten a lot better sure. in the last, you know, just just few years, really. Um, we, we wear a Kevlar vest and um, carbon fiber slash titanium helmet. So, you know, the, the safety's gotten a lot better, but we're still going up against an 1,800-pound trained animal athlete, too. So... <laughs> It is really astonishing when you put it like that. It really <laughs> is that you just get out there and you keep doing it. Tell me a little bit about what you like about just being on the rodeo circuit. You said you like to hang out with your buddies and travel the world. Yeah, it's fun. You know, there's not very many 23-year-old guys. You know, I've been to, I couldn't even tell you how many states. And then get to come up to Canada some, just get to travel the country, you know, with, with good friends, making memories and getting to do what we love. And that's rodeo. And that's rodeo. How long do you hope to do it? So I, I hope to just, I, I want to be remembered as the best bull rider of all time. And uh, to do that, I'd have to win nine, nine world championships. And this year, I'm working on my fifth one already. So, you know, hopefully I can just win nine in a row and just ride off into the sunset. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds pretty great. Thank you so much for being here, Sage. Best of luck. Thanks for having me. Thank you.